What's going on, YouTube? This is my 2017 Lexus IS, and this is the one with the bigger head unit. And I wanted to install an amp. This does have a factory amplifier, and I wanted to install a aftermarket amplifier. So what does everybody do? They go to your trusty line output converter. A uh, big issue that I have with this thing is that I was getting bass, but I wasn't getting the bass that I wanted. I mean, the bass sounded good, but I noticed that the amplifier... The factory amplifier was filtering the bass and also the bass was falling flat like maybe around 44 volume so what I did was I installed uh, let me show you I installed the WaveTech bass restorer I have two Sundown 8-inch SAV3s on a JP23. Okay, so the knob here has got a, a few functions. So if you push it down, it'll completely turn it off, which is kind of cool because let's say you don't need it. Um, the main knob here is going to be your epicenter. So if you listen to banda, you listen to reggaeton, I mean not reggaeton, but maybe some Spanish music, some rock music that might not have bass, that'll definitely help you out. But the main reason I got it was for this guy down here, this knob here. So let's say around 44, your bass just falls flat. Uh, you can turn this up a little bit and it'll restore your bass. Um, no more, I guess, missing hertz, missing sound. I get all the bass that I need. And I have that wired with the JP23 knob here. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt to get both of these to work. Like, <laughs> if you disconnect this one, this one gets louder. But uh, this is going to be your uh, bass booster here. This is going to be uh, giving you your voltage and your temperature. And let me just play it for you. Let's see how it sounds. 